it's really cool to see this transition because these ideas like diet or alternate training regimens to supplement one's parkour training are relatively new ideas and they've been seeded throughout time. But I remember when I lived in France, I worked with David, I asked him, like, what do you think about lifting weights? Because my theory was you don't need weights. And he said, well, if you think weights will help you lift weights, but he wasn't like championing in weights. And yeah. even at that time, 10 years ago, it really wasn't much of an idea. And then I think it was, oh man, I don't know how to, and this is so embarrassing. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Calum, Calum from store, Cullum. I don't even know it's Callum, Callum, whatever. Um, Callum, Cullum. Callum was the first guy I saw really lifting. Oh, there was somebody else. Oh crud, I forget his name. Anyway, there was, a, there was like a couple people. Callum was one of them who was like really getting into the weights. And so that was interesting to see him do it. And his jumps progressed at a really high level. Yeah. And we're starting to see that come in. I watched a video recently of Dom where he talked about his ankle that he injured. Mm-hmm. And he talked about how it had always healed. So he kind of neglected it. And then it kind of just never healed. And then he realized he really needed to focus on on healing it. And yeah. there's like, there's things like that that are, I think we're starting to realize as a community is like, yeah, poker is great. You know, that's our goal. That's what we do. But how else do you supplement your training or your recovery or your physicality or your athleticism? Maybe you foam roll. Maybe you focus on your diet. Maybe you also lift weights. Maybe you also work on flexibility. And these other things can be incorporated. And if you don't do it, then maybe it'll work for you to each their own. But if you do do it, maybe it'll prevent you from being injured or maybe it'll increase your abilities or maybe it will lead to new paths, whatever it may be. So it's really cool to see that coming yeah. into the parkour community in different facets. Yeah. Do you, do you have a diet? I mean, what would you, do you have anything specific you would recommend or anything you've experienced? Yeah. 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 Before I jump to that, I want to say that yeah, go on. Uh, at least for the lifting, like I think mm. when I got into lifting, I, one of the first things I realized was, okay, yeah, it does make your jump better, but more than that, it makes your landings feel 10 times better. And so it's become more of a preventative strategy for me. Like, I don't think you need to lift, but like, will it allow you to do parkour for longer because it's taking the strain off your joints and ligaments? Totally, totally. Like, so like my reckon, like when I tell people, it's like, if anything, just lift for the injury prevention um, mm-hmm. benefits you get from it. Just lift so you can land and not feel pain. Like, it's great that you can jump so far, but you know, if you're only, if you have to rest a few weeks or like, and then you get injured and then you're able to jump that far again, it's like, well, you're not going to be able to do that for a long time. You're going to be able to, you need to like focus on a way to, you need to strategize and come up mm-hmm. with a training plan that's going to allow you to reach your goals. And if your goal is to do parkour for as long as you can, then I think strength training is incredibly uh, useful and beneficial. Um, if you only plan to, I don't know why anyone would only want to do parkour for maybe five years and just be like, oh, okay, I did it. Although I do know some people have done that. You know, they're happy. So good for that. But if your goal is long term, then lift some weight. Sure. 